Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're taking a look at one of the most powerful Skeleton King combos that I've found so far for dominating in Clash Royale. Right here is a 4.0 Elixir Skeleton King Graveyard Ultimate Control Strategy. The entire idea of a strategy like this is go Skeleton King first, and then go Graveyard, and when the Graveyard dies, it fuels after Skeleton King for additional Graveyard action, because the Skeleton King's ability is basically another Graveyard for 2 Elixir. It is very, very powerful both on offense and defense. You get the Infernal Dragon for tank destroying, the Witch to also fuel your Skeleton King, and the Fisherman to pull all those tanks off your tower. Overall, this deck is an absolute beast right now in Clash Royale. And a huge thank you here to everyone using Creative Code Chain in their shop to help support the channel. All right, Mr. Uh, Royal Hawks of the Bridge over here. This guy's a mad lad. Yoink it. Hands down, best fish taco I've ever had in my life. Oh, it almost got to the tower, dude. What? You should have pulled the full health one, not the uh, weak one, fish boy. You nup. I'm gonna go graveyard over in this business. Maybe a bit overcommittal. Maybe a bit overcommittal. Gonna see a mother witch over here, left lane. Just a log spell. We get some decent tower damage done, though, right? Like, we're gonna be pretty happy with that tower. Yo, what? The graveyard just destroyed. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and ignore this goblin brawler right here, because uh, I don't think he's gonna get any shots off. Nice. We are good to go. All right. I'm going to go Witch back here because we are full on the Elixir. I have a feeling it might have an Archer Queen in there. Everybody and everybody using Archer Queen right now. Hey. Ah, oh, there she goes. <laughs> Ow. Never mind. I was going to be happy there for a minute, but now I'm not. Let's go Fireball here. And then arrows us down here. Let's go. Boom. So, Yeah. Overcommittal on the elixir, but there is good news. His tower is at 628 health, and we're basically almost full right here anyway, so we're not really wasting the elixir. Like, we're almost at 10. Let's try this again, but hopefully the fish boy is no longer the nub sauce. Can you activate, please? No, he's also nub sauce. He's still nub sauce. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'm actually gonna go fish our graveyard right lane here, boys and girls. That's the play right now. That is the plan. Let's do one of these here. Spawn some smellies out, please. Yoink that uh, brawler away. And now get in their graveyard. Yoink her away too. Destroy the Archer Queen, please, girls. Oh, the Archer Queen is so busted. I know why arrows there. That's a terrible arrows. That's going to cost us a lot. Dude, the Archer Queen is beyond busted. But here's a nice thing. When you use not the Archer Queen, it is so satisfying beating an Archer Queen deck when you're not using her. Because she is, as I previously mentioned, beyond busted. Like, it isn't even a comparison how busted she is. I'm going to go graveyard here, boys and girls. Wait for it. Let me get some, uh, this business going on here. More smelting, more action. Yo, that tower's dead. What? How is that tower dead already? Yo, what? Oh, man. Oh, dude, that's nasty. All right. As long as we just keep defending here, we should be GG's. That mother, that witch is just destroying over there, eh? Let's go arrows right here. Boom. Thank you. Smelly King right here, please. Thank you. All right, cool. So, we destroyed the Archer Queen. Even though she's busted, we still destroyed her with 1,300 health on our tower left over. I would call that a good game. Well played, sir. I want to go ahead and go Skeleton King here right lane. Just so that way when the goblins die, we can start reaping their souls and charging up his ability right here. And then I think what I want to do... Oh, no. The Electron Spirit. Oh, no. I'm actually going to go grip. Oh, what? I'm sad, dude. Get your rocket out of my face. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's go Fish Boy here. Then you want the Valkyrie within range. Let me go Infernal Dragon for the uh, Princess here. And then we just arrows down all this shenanigans. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so, log bait deck with probably Archer Queen. I mean, everybody is using Archer Queen right now, so it'd probably be that. But the good news is... Um, there's no good news. We're just gonna be dead. <laughs> We're just gonna be dead. I'm gonna go slow Smelly King push right here. We'll see how it goes. Skeleton King, do something please, boy. I wonder if you rocket the tower plus the Skeleton King, is it value or nah? Yay. I'm waiting to see what he's got in there for a surprise card. You know what I'm saying? Let's do one of these. 
And then we're gonna... Oh, okay. Let's go like this, boys and girls. A bunch more skeletons coming through. Come on. Destroy the princess, please. Yes, there we go. The tower is taking a ton of damage. So despite the skeleton king kind of just dying right there, we still got a respectable amount of tower damages dealt. If I were him, he might go Valkyrie, uh, what do you call it here soon? Uh, Goblin Barrel, sorry. If I could think, I would think, but I can't. My brain is broken. So as rockets out of rotation, so we can go Witch right here. We're gonna get Yoink that off the opposite lane. Then go like this, wait for it. Wait for it, like this, let's go. Thank you. Now Yoink that away, please, my friend. Probably this down, let's go. Uh, yo, that's actually dead. We like that. He does not, but the Archer Queen goes in there. Graveyard by itself. He Goblin Barrels the Graveyard? Yes. You love to see that, Clash Roy. All right, Skeleton King right here. Let's go. Do we see a princess here left for lane? Let's go. Dark Prince here. Thank you, sir. Nice. Nice. You love to see it, my dude. All right. So, we got that Falcon of the way over here. Wait for that. Don't you dare say that to me. Don't you dare say he's got that down. I'm gonna do one of these here, let's go. Arrow's on for a Goblin Gang, let's go. It might be a decent tower damages, we'll see how it goes. Come on, Graveyard, get some tower damages done. More, 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 yes! All right, he has to go barrel direct on the tower here. We can fire that down and we win. Yo, that was a crazy close battle. Crazy close battle. Oh, he's angry. My friend, don't be mad at me, bro. Okay, let's do one of, the oh no! Oh no! Lots of no's! Wait a minute! Get a fireball here. Boom. Alright. Um. You know a card is beyond busted when players can go Archer Queen at the bridge and activate her ability and get a thousand tower damages done. I, this is not the first battle I've seen it. I've actually seen a lot of battles where they just literally go Archer Queen first play. And you can't do anything about it because uh, anything you do. The Archer Queen just destroys it. Her DPS is so high that she can clear through like mini tanks like Valkyries. She almost destroys even a packet with all the damage she puts out. So I would probably say maybe a slight nerf needed for that card. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I would agree with that. So what I did there, if you guys were wondering, the Archer Queen can be damaged even while she's invisible. So what I did, he's gonna go, uh, yeah, bats there. I should've known that was coming. Let's get this, let's go. Ah, the art, the e spirit got off. Lame. Uh, what I did there, anyways, as I was saying, is the Archer Queen can be splashed, even while she's invisible, so I used my Skeleton King on the Bandit to splash the Archer Queen. And it worked, but man, we're in a huge deficit here. It's always an uphill battle when you're facing an Archer Queen deck, because she's like literally... When you can literally go just Archer Queen at the bridge and, and that's it? And that's still- look at this! Are y'all seeing this? That's how busted she is! It is broken! It is beyond busted! You can literally just spam her at the bridge! And she destroys! Ay ay ay. Alright, we're gonna go for a grave right here, boys and girls. Let's get a witch back in the business here. And then we're gonna ignore that bandit on the right and get a graveyard up in this biz. Let's go. Let's go one of these boys. Thank you. He fireballs a bit late. He mega knights a bit late too. The skeleton getting some good tower damage is done right here. Tower is in fact dead sauce right now. So I would call that good tower damage. We're gonna fireball the archer queen right here. Let's go. Boom. That way she should be dead almost pretty soon here at least. Bonk. Dark Prince destroys that down. Smelly King right here, please. Fish Boy right here, let's go. And then we're gonna go Dark Prince to prevent these bats from doing any more dower, tower damages. Dower, tower. All right, we good to go. Let's see if we can defend for 11 more seconds. I don't think we can. He's got a fast cycle deck. He can get back to another, uh, what do you call it, ASAP. Can we do it? Probably here. Yeah, dude, we just beat the busted Archer Queen. She's beyond broken, and we won still. Oh no, this is the Goblin Cage. Say what? This is gonna be nasty, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, dude, this sucks. Yikes. 
Uh, Electro Giant is making a comeback in Clash Royale, mostly because, um... E-Giant Landing Spell does so well versus Archer Queen decks, and Archer Queen does well in that deck, so... Either way, we're dead, dude. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, Clash Roy. Uh, you wanna give me a break here, dude? You wanna give me some- cut me some slack here, buddy? Alright, wait for it. Watch this Archer Queen cross the bridge here, we can't do anything for it. One of these, let's go. Alright, cool, we good. Alright, actually, didn't I just do a video on this deck? Archer Queen, it's giant, it's one of the most busted decks in the game, so... It's gonna be a tough one for us. Mostly because we don't have Archer Queen, but also because our deck is just a little bit weaker to, to uh... Electro Giant overall, because of the counterattack destroys everything we have. If we had the Goblin Cage version of this deck, we would be a bit better off. What are you gonna do with that, my friend? Ooh, just one of these. I'm gonna go one of these. Are you okay with that, my friend? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, it's this deck. Okay, that sucks. I mean, yeah. I don't know, dude. I know, I know what it sounds like, and it sounds like I'm already making excuses, which I kind of am. Let's just be honest here. We, we, we like to make excuses, us YouTubers. It's true. It's true. We do. But man, he's got East Britain there too. Just gives him another graveyard counter. That's rough, dude. That is rough, rough. Uh, let's go with some DP action over this right here for the ghost. Um, and then let's just chill. He's gonna go E Giant slow push right here, right? Yeah, there it is. Uh, so let's get one of these. Uh, I, I should be going opposite lane, I guess. Because he likely has Lightning Spell in there, which is going to destroy us. But, at the same time, you can't do what you can't do. And you can't do what you can't do. So in the end, you just do what you do. <laughs> we melted that pretty good, though, eh? He's going to go Delivery here on that, Jazz. Yes, okay. But man, the E-Spirit in there. Dude, why do you got to have the E-Spirit? Out of all the cards you could have not had, East Barrett. <sighs> Yoink that E Giant, please, fishy boy. Yoink. Thank you. He's got uh, Earthquake. What? Dude, look at this. E Giant's nasty, boys. Alright, graveyard here, let's go. Wait for it. One of these, let's go. There's this, let's go. Maybe not the best arrows of my life, but we do have a ton of skeletons popping out of that. Uh, oh, he wastes an earthquake too. Nice. Hey, that's pretty good. You love to see that clash, Roy. You love to see it for sure. All right, let's go some Dark Prince action right here. Pulls that ghost away, destroys that jazz as well. I might go in with one more uh, grade right here, boys and girls. Is this overcommittal here? Maybe. Will we learn our lesson here? No. Am I going to do it anyways? Yes. Boom. Thank you. <laughs> you want it, please? All right. So remember what I said about learning my lesson? Remember how I said I wasn't going to? Well, we didn't. All right. We, we have to ignore the Archer Queen right lane. She is getting a lot of tower damage just done, but it might be worth it. We'll see how it goes. Log spell here. Probably goes back right here. Let's go. Come on, let's get some tower damage done, please. Yes. Oh, he's got the delivery too, dude. I got no chance here, bud. E giant in front of this, right? No, E giant there. Okay. I might go one more grade run into this, boys and girls. Let's just full send grade run. Maybe we can win. If we get 16,000 tower damage done right here, we win. That's generally how she works in Clash Ruin. Really. Let's go. Come on. Just a bit of tower damage done, please. Ah, I overcommitted, boys and girls. Oh, what the freak? Another one of those? Let's do one of these here. Let's go. Come on, boys. Oh, we win. All right. So Dark Prince versus Dark Prince matchup over here. Princey boy. Charge the Princey boy. Run. All right, cool. So it should take care of that Dark Prince pretty nicely. I don't know what I want to do right now, though. I think I want to just chill and see what my friend Mr. Deco has. Which Dark Prince deck? What could it be? What could it be? I don't know. We shall see. Let's do one of these. Okay. Wait for it. Let's go, boys. Hmm. Activate ability right now. There we go. He's all charged up. That one bat dies. I'm going to go graveyard here. This is the way, boys and girls. This is the way to greatness and everything in between. 
Come on, Fireball, knock it back, please. Destroy the Musketeer, please, Fireball. Yes, Infernal Dragon locks on. Melt it, please. Infernal Dragon, I want the entire thing dead. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. Now, it might be a bit too early to say game over. But we're gonna say it anyways. You see what I did there? That's called a pun. That's a play on words because his clan name is game over. So it's an easy joke for us YouTubers when they got clan names that we can integrate into our videos. Pro tip if you want to be a YouTuber. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oi! Oi! That's not nice. Wait for this. And then we do one of these. And I would say we defeated that pretty nut. Oh, dude. Don't be mad at me, bruh. <laughs> Why are you mad at me? Why are you angry? You, you're in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go Smelly King over here. He's gonna go Giant Graveyard left lane, right? Let's go Dark Prince right here, let's go. Not too sure what his play is right here, to be honest. Let's go, just uh, just playing defense right now is all, my, is all my plan is. That's all she goes right now, is just playing a bit of defense. Let's do one of these here. One of these here, let's go. This, this. There was this one, let's go. Is he mad at me? I, I can't tell. Is that anger being directed at me? What did I do? <laughs> Let's go, boys. Spawn some smeltons out, please, King. Let's go. Yes. There we go, GG's. Yes. Almost a three crown. Dude, this deck dominates. This deck legitimately dominates Clash Royale. Wow. Well, my friend Deco, I think it's time that we say game over.